20 years since Elizabeth Smart was kidnapped and then held captive and tortured for nine months. News Special Sheriff Park spoke with Smart today about the anniversary and the life she's created since that time. Life is hard and it has its ups and it has its downs, but I also think life can be very healing and I feel like it has been for me. When Elizabeth Smart looks back over the past 20 years, she doesn't dwell on her kidnapping. It's given me a chance to live. And while others may, she doesn't see herself as the little 14-year-old girl plastered on missing posters. If someone sees me always as the little girl that was kidnapped, it's okay because I know that, yeah, that is me, but that's not all of me. That was a moment in time. I have a whole lifetime of other experiences now. Smart says she never expected to live life in the spotlight, even after her kidnapping, but says there was a defining moment as details of her abuse were shared in court. For myself and for other survivors who never have their day in court, I want to give it some context, and that's what got me to write my book. Um, and it was kind of like from there on out, it was just kind of like, let's go. Smart studied abroad, served an LDS mission, graduated college, and became a wife and mother. She created the Elizabeth Smart Foundation, educating and advocating for sexual abuse victims, hoping to bring an end to victimization. Nobody this past year, she joined forces with the Maloof Foundation to take the work even further. I feel like there is so much more possible um, with us together than just me on my own. For 20 years, Smart has created the life she's wanted. When asked what she's most proud of, that I decided that I would put myself out there and not just sharing my story, but doing something about it. And if there was one thing she wants those who have followed her journey to know, it's this. I'm happy. I do this because I choose to, not because it haunts me or it traumatizes me. I do this because I want to and because I want to make a difference. And I am so grateful for everyone's kindness and love and support and prayers. And I look forward to, to the future and, and to the change that I believe will come. Elizabeth asks that we all go to IamOnWatch.org. She asks that we take the training designed to help us spot, report, and prevent sex trafficking so that another child doesn't go through what she went through. Sheriff Park, KSL 5 News. An incredible woman there. Thanks a lot, Sheriff.